Hi folks. One of the great new features of Aurelia 5 is the ability to create custom dictation exercises that use real audio recordings for playback. Today we're going to look at how you can create your own. First, it's important to note that the library comes packed with lots of audio and notation files, along with matching questions across a whole range of different topics. We're going to have a look at a Swan Lake melodic dictation exercise that's already provided in the software. Just going to preview this question. So then the student can obviously click in their answer, etc., etc. And then receive some quality feedback. So obviously there, the playback was using a real audio recording um, from Swan Lake. Let's have a look at how this question was created. So in our library, we have an audio file from Swan Lake that's two minutes, 43 seconds in length. And from that, we've created a bunch of extracts that are smaller slices of that larger audio file. We do have another video that shows you how to create your own extracts, but let's just quickly have a look at the properties of this extract. So you can see here, we've selected a smaller slice of the larger audio file to be saved as extract one and to be used in our question. Let's preview that. And we also have some matching notation of that oboe melody. This particular notation we created using our notation editor earlier. Uh, again, we do have other videos that cover using the notation editor in detail. So check them out. Uh, let's have a quick look at this melody though. So there's the melody in its entirety. Again, we can choose to play, play that back there if we wish. Okay, so we've got our two bits of media, our audio file, extract one, and our matching piece of notation that we've created. And now let's look at how we create a question. So we simply select the plus button over here and come in to create our question. So we're gonna create a notation-based question and we'll just call it melodic dictation. And we'll ask the student to transcribe the oboe melody. Okay, so down here under question, we select notate, and here we choose the notation that we're going to be using for the basis of the question. So again, I'll do a quick search for Swan Lake, and there's our extract there. Close out of there. Now this form determines how the student will interact with the question. So here, as per a typical melodic dictation question, I'm going to hide all the notes apart from the first note. A couple of other settings that are worth knowing about here are under notate, we're gonna choose just to allow the student to add single notes. This just means they can only click in monophonic melodies as opposed to chords. There are some other options here as well that you may want to enable or disable, um, including displaying or hiding the key signature in the question itself. Great. So we'll close this form. Now you'll notice under playback, our notation file has automatically copied down there. And we can listen to that back. So obviously that's just using our system MIDI sounds. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to switch to audio here and choose the appropriate audio file for playback. Select our audio there. And let's have a listen. Okay, a couple of other things to add here are our starting pitch and counting. So I'm just going to choose for a B minor chord to be played at the start of the question. And I'd also like a one bar counting. Exit there. Under assessment, you can see that the notation file that we selected up here under the question setup has also been copied down and that will be used to assess the student's answer. You can jump in here to modify selections and have a look at that if you like. Okay, so our question's all set up and to preview it, we simply go up to the preview icon. So if we need to make any changes to the question, we simply close out of there and make the necessary changes. And then the question is saved to our library. Once you've created your custom question, it's then really easy to add it to your syllabus or include it in tests or worksheets or also courses. We do have other videos that cover those features in detail. Note that the question that we created today used audio and notation files that were already available in the library. You can just as easily import your own audio or notation files or simply create notation from within the notation editor itself and save it directly to your library for use in a question. I hope this video helped. Thanks for watching. <laughs>